Aaliyah is so exciting because we have so much space, really been able to bring to life so many things that we've wanted to do from one project to the next. And this is the first time where I feel like we've been able to do everything we've ever dreamed of. How can we create the most sustainable version of a luxury building? And the reality is, which I think WRNS has done such a beautiful job, is that sustainable design is actually just fundamentally good design. When we finally got to the exterior and they presented that concept of the weave, and it was so beautiful, you know, the curves, it was so feminine and soft, and it was stunning, honestly, that was the only word I could use. Luxury is not in objects, it's in options. And this is our biggest commitment to amenities um, that in, in any project, and I mean, I would venture to say um, anywhere um, on Oahu. The best example to me is the adult pool and having the resort community pool and then having the adult pool I just think is really going to allow everyone to have a place to go and be happy because they know that they can create that experience that, that they're envisioning to the, the more formal dining room with, but with that 12 foot ceilings, all that natural light coming in, the indoor outdoor feeling. The Aaliyah Lounge I'm incredibly excited about because we basically created a space that we're like, okay, it's not about being sophisticated, it's about having fun. We learned about this in Tokyo and that private clubs are a really common thing there. Basically, it's an extension of your home where you can entertain your friends and family. And I feel like Aaliyah really came from that idea from our friends in Tokyo. And I just think there's gonna be a lot of fun nights um, in that space. The key to, to to creating that urban escape is really, number one is landscape. It's really a commitment to green, natural materials. Probably our, our, our best expression of that is the Great Lawn. And, and the whole idea is it's not just to be looked at, it's to be enjoyed. You know, you're gonna see people lay a picnic down, you're gonna see someone kicking a soccer ball, and that's just the intent. Those are the kind of moments that you want. Like you don't feel like I'm living up in a high rise, right? Suddenly it's, it's more of a single family home experience. We really tried to A, create variation amongst the floor plate, where you can really see in the floor plans whether we were planning for a family or we were planning a more of a, you know, sophisticated older couple that's entertaining. And that thoughtfulness pervades all the designs. And yet at the same time, we always do ask ourselves, okay, how can it adapt? And really trying to always make sure that we're, we're thinking ahead for what the future owners may want to do to make the home their own. We're always very humble in the act of wanting to listen and learn and see what could be better. For our buyers, for them to know that in each instance, my personal purchase at each of the projects is our largest asset, personally. And so it is really, truly an investment. And it's not about trying to make my home better, really. It's about making the whole community the best for, for everyone. That thoughtfulness is really the cornerstone of what we believe makes a great development. So it's really thinking through every single square inch and, and as we like to say, you know, sweating the details, just really making sure that it can be the best possible version at every turn.